like I say, it's been two years of growth, so hopefully they're still good. I see they're still growing. Get in here. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I almost said the wrong thing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Don't use the Lord's name in vain. <laughs> so I just said, oh my gosh. He pulled it. <laughs> what you do? <laughs> but look at that. Look how wet it is back here. And they've been loving it. As long as you plant them up high, those roots can actually go down into that water. If you live in a place that's like this, like real low and stay wet all the time, you can see my clothes are always muddy. My shoes are always muddy. The kids have to have boots. But look at that. My gosh. Wait till I clean that up for y'all. Look at the roots on the back of that thing. And look how beautiful. We're going to take this and get it washed off. So that's one. Let me put that down to the side. Whoo, that's beautiful. That's just one. Let's go. He's getting go. excited, yo. Oh, my gosh. This is a high tunnel. Look this up. is. What are you looking at? Look what are you looking here. at? <laughs> what you looking at? You can see it too. What's that thing would always be saying? Look at it. The look at it, man. Look at it, Zach. Don't look at that. it. Let me move that back. I like to. I want to try to get it out just like that last one. Get it all the way out. Gosh, look at this thing. Organic. How much would they charge yeah. for this? Look at that. Look at that worm up in there. Look at that beautiful worm. I ain't gonna bother you, man. Stay where you at. Sleeping worm. Yeah. Oh my yeah. gosh. He's trying to help you. Oh, oh you broke it. I broke it. You gotta get on this side. <laughs> worm? Yeah, that one was that one was deep down in there. That's why. That's why. Yeah, this worm. Mm. Look at this, y'all. Look at this. My gosh. I even broke it. Wow. If you didn't broke it. I even broke it. Hold on a sec. Let me get that mud off of that. Are oh, you trying to help daddy? Trying to help daddy. Wow, they fat. This. Goodness. Say, girl, I'm over here harvesting. Why are you calling me? Don't want to lose that dirt. Need that dirt stay here. But look at that. Wow. Oh, let's. We gotta go clean these up and go inside. Hold on, don't pull that at the root. All right. Let me get this one out of here. Look at this, Fiona. Look at what your daddy did. It's hot to look at. And you can see a, another root about to come out right there. Yeah, it's going to come out it. and blow that one up. Oh, man. I just love ginger and turmeric because it's like the, the crop is the seed. So all you need is this to get started. You just need one of these little pieces. And you put them in and then time does the rest. Patience. Gardening is so much, so much about patience. Look at that. Look at these. Look at these beauties. My goodness. Look at this one, the one that didn't break. Oh, hope it don't break when I bring it inside. All right, let's see. This, look how good the pepper is doing. And we're in January? Yes. They just Almost came through. Almost February already. I got two. These are two cayenne peppers. Long cayenne, so you can see how good they're doing. Overwintering didn't even stop. I need to cover the roots up with a little bit more soil, which I'll do <coughs> not now but later. So, see, these are small. I'm gonna just leave this in the ground. Look at the tumor, the tumor just coming out of the ground. They're growing so crazy. All right, so we got one more, Zach. One more now. Last year, the uh. <laughs> The rabbit, I believe it was a rabbit. The rabbits actually came and ate some of these down to the stub. And we just left them anyway. We was like, man, doggone rabbits and left us rabbit manure. 
and ate all our ginger, but I think they didn't like what the after effects. Hold on, Zach. Get back over here. Where are you going? Okay, come here. Come on. I don't think they like the... All right, you ready? I don't think they like the after effects of what the ginger probably did to them, so they've never messed with the ginger since. Oh, my goodness. Can you see this, Beverly? Go oh, on. Goodness. Wow. All right. All right. Back up. Let me get. Let me get to it. Look like one of them has been so long that it's Yo, split. We'll this. All right. So let me get it. Oh, let me get it. All right. All right. Good. Got it. Oh, I broke that one too. That's all right. Okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I gotta get it out of this thing. Look at this. You want the honors of one? I'm going to have your what? hands too dirty, huh? We'll let you mess with them inside. That's yours, like so You want the honors of pulling one? You want the honors of the last one? Yeah, let me see. Yeah? All right. So, she gets the honors of the last one. I couldn't harvest all of that without her because she's the ginger girl. And she's been watching so patiently, waiting on these just waiting for me to say when it's time to get them. Two years of waiting. And you can see we kind of overweighted on that one. You can yeah. see how it's kind of, it done bust open and split. But look at that. Ha. Oh. Hey. Still in our cages in another cage too. Uh-oh. Ginger girl. You can just pull it out, pull the whole thing out that way, pull the root out that way. Yeah. Excuse me, sir. All right. Wow. All right. All right. Sorry. Look at that. My gosh. Part of ginger is just. You blocked that on my face. The turmeric is amazing. Yes. So. We need more ginger, though. We have an overabundance of turmeric, but uh, I think I put more focus into the turmeric than I put into the ginger. But I think, I think after seeing, after seeing something like this, after seeing a harvest like that, um, let's let's tell you what, let's go ahead and get these washed off, and we'll go inside and we'll let everybody get a real good look at what we got. What you think about that? What you think about that, Zach? Yes? Thumbs up? Yes? Yes, sir. <laughs> Ain't no more down no, there, no, man. No, no, no. <laughs> Alright, we'll be right back. Give us a second to get these washed. Using off. your water, washing your vegetables. A lot of times it's best to just do it over your plants. That way your plants can get that water and you kind of kill two birds in one stone. Uh so she's almost finished with that one. Oh. Looks good. She's almost finished with that one. I'm gonna bring it in for y'all to see. That's good enough on that one. Let me see that. Wow. Look at that. Now that's ginger, baby. Ah, oh, turning around. It's so heavy on the top. That's ginger. That's ginger! <laughs> that's Grove Family Ginger. Look at that. That's grow family ginger, y'all. Wow. So today, today we got ginger. We got carrots. We could get mustard. We could get we could get kale. We could get broccoli. That's the beauty back there. I could get some beet greens. That's the beauty of this. Today was the day for y'all. What is you talking about? Baby say be talk. quiet. Say be quiet. Daddy doing the video. Oh my gosh, y'all. Look at this. Another one. Another one. Another one. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. Look at the size of that puppy. Hey, tell me in the comments if y'all growing ginger. Look. I'm gonna tell you this. Growing ginger in containers 
is good. But if you got seven to eight months of frost free weather, put your ginger in a raised bed. Um, that's actually mimicking a raised bed soil back there. That's what I have in the high tunnel. I don't have any grass, real grass or dirt. Actually, a lot of it has been taken out and it's more so just a lot of soil, soil mixes, vermiculite, perlite. Over the years, ha, look at my baby just washing these up. <laughs> Over the years of adding stuff, adding soil, these things ready to grow again. Look at that. Y'all can see this? Hey guys, washing it. I want to get a good up close of her washing this one. So let me turn the camera up to get a good look at this one. Look at the size of that. Mm -hmm. My goodness. Oh my goodness. I don't want to get the camera full of water. I need a waterproof camera so I can really dive in like I want to. Wow. So this is this is two years of growing a, a turmeric, uh, not a turmeric, a ginger, <laughs> of putting a ginger in the ground. And if you had the capacity to let it stay for two years, look at that. Put that on side of you. Let me see how big that is on side of her little fat head. <laughs> oh, the water's dripping on her. Wow, that's amazing. Now, this is where the moment of truth happens. Is taking some of this produce and putting it back. If you don't do that, you can't sustain what you're doing. You can't sustain your growing if you don't do this. If you don't say, man, I want to eat this. I want to dry this stuff. I want to dehydrate it. Whatever you want to do. I want to eat it fresh. I want to juice it. you got to put some of this back in the ground. You have to. It's incumbent upon you to put something back in the ground. Especially on your ginger and your tumor. I can't even get it all in a shot. And as always, grow, grow, grow.